Welcome everyone to a new tactics video. My name is Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you the best defensive formation, uh, counter attack formation, or a formation that you just can use when you are really bad at defending or just consider so many goals that you think I really need a better defensive formation. You can use this formation for all these scenarios. But before I begin, I would really uh, appreciate it if you would leave a like under this video. And if you're new to the channel, I want to find your way back really easy. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. I'm going to show you the formation of course uh the lineup that i use the kind of player that i'm using um the tactics and the instructions and after that also some examples from a match that i was playing so you can see how i am playing this how i'm building up my attacks how i'm defending so then you can see how you can use this formation yourself um, it's the 5-3-2 formation. You see me here with Liverpool. I take this team as an example, but you can also use other teams. Or if you are playing ultimate team, then you can use also this formation and, and instructions and tactics. But then with similar players that we have here with Liverpool. It's the 5-3-2 holding formation in ultimate team. It's called the 5-1-2-2 formation. I don't know why that is different, but it is what it is. Um, it's uh, uh, yeah, it, it is really defending, of course, with the five defenders that we have and also the central defensive midfielder. All right, what I'm using is a goalkeeper, of course, Allison. Then we have a right defender, Alexander Arnold. And what is really important for me in this formation is the high medium work rate. And that sounds a bit weird, maybe, because he has medium on defensive and it is a defensive formation, but. Yeah, he also needs to attack in this formation for me, else you have really less players to attack. So also the wing backs, full backs, whatever you want to call it, are going to attack. And then high, medium or high, high work rates are pretty necessary, in my opinion. Then we have three center backs. They need to be fast, pretty fast, good at defending, really physical players, just what center backs need to do. Van Dijk is the best center back for me in this game. He is really fast with 81 pace, his defending 90 and his physicals are pretty amazing as well. And then we have Gomez, also pretty, uh, pretty fast player, 82. Defending is okay, physicals are okay. The only thing that we don't have in this uh, team is a left footed center back. So I put uh, the player with the best weak foot, what is Gomez with three stars on the left side. But if you have a left footed center back, that would be better because when you are building up your attack, sometimes Gomez was passing with his left feet and he just messed up with that. So yeah, it's not ideal to have him there, but it is the best option in this team. Uh, then we have Robertson on the left side. He has the high, high work rates, what is even better than Trent Alexander-Arnold has, of course, but it doesn't matter that much, in my opinion. Uh, then we need a really, really good central defensive midfielder. Fabinho is a really good central defensive midfielder. What is important is defensive stats, of course, physical stats uh, and pace. The only thing that Fabinho doesn't have is much pace. So it could be better than him, maybe Kante or something like that. But Fabinho is okay for this. Then we have... Uh, oh, I didn't forget. I forgot. Didn't say it. Medium high work rates are the best to have on this possession, in my opinion. Then we have two central midfielders, and I already know what you are thinking. Firmino and Jota, they are not central midfielders. Why are you using these players there? That is because of the high, high work rates. Both have high, high work rates, and that is the best to have in this formation uh, at the way that I am playing this. Uh, they also need to be really fast. Well, 74 is not super fast, but for a central midfielder, it is enough. Dribbling must be good, so they have that. Skill moves, weak foot, especially the weak foot is important because these guys are going to pass lots and lots of balls, and you don't want to switch to the good foot all the time. You need to trust them that they can pass with left and right foot both so that's why four or five star weak foot is really necessary in this possession so that's why i'm using firmino good dribbling uh, passing is okay four star weak foot and the pace is also okay then we have jota he is even better in my opinion to play as a central uh, midfielder here he is he has five star weak foot also the high high work rates as you can see here he is faster than firmino 85 pace uh, passing is okay dribbling is good so 
both players are doing a really great job on this possession in this formation then we're going to the striker possession and what is really important is that both are really fast 90 plus space is really needed dribbling must be good shooting must be good just what a fast attacker needs so we're using Diaz and Salah over here. Both are really fast. Uh, Salah, three-star weak foot. He's left-footed. Uh, it doesn't matter that much uh, who you are playing on which possession. You can also play Salah on the left side and Diaz on the right side. You can uh, choose whatever you want. I'm just playing it this way. But they need to be fast because they are creating space with the runs that they are making. All right, then we're going to the tactics. Because this is a really good defensive formation for people that want to counter attack or just insecure with defending, we are choosing drop back so you are sure that everybody is coming back to help the defense out. So no pressure at all, just concentrate on the defending and when you have the ball then you're going to attack, no stress at that. The width is 30 so not too wide because else there are pretty wide gaps between your defenders and that's not what you want it needs to be compact everybody close together so it's really hard for the opponent to uh pass through this uh the depth is 40 so not too high on the pitch but also not too low because if you are going back too much then uh, your opponent has so much space in the midfield to pass the ball around and build up his attack slowly that's also not what you want so not too low on the field but also not too high uh, the build-up play is fast build-up because we can use this as counter attack formation so when you have the ball players are making runs forward uh, you need to pass quickly and i'm going to show you that in the gameplay examples later how you can pass the ball really fast uh, but the fast build-up is really amazing D uh, direct passing on chance creation uh, the width is 40 plays in the box four bars corners and free kicks both two bars then we are going to the instructions what is really important what you can do with trent alexander arnold or with robertson doesn't matter that much you can play him on stay back while attacking but for me it is hard to build up attacks when one of the fullbacks is on stay back while attacking when you think it's too attacking for you when he's on balance you can drop him on stay back while attacking but for me both fullbacks are on balanced attack not join the attack that is too much for a defensive formation but just balanced attack so they can go forward not too much and yeah help you in the building up and the other thing that i changed is run type on overlap so they stay at the side of the field because you already have four players in the middle when you are building up your attack so you want them to stay at the side to available um then we have three center backs all our default i didn't change anything and then we have robertson the same as trent alexander arnold balanced attack and overlap run type um then we are going to fabinho cut passing lanes stay back while attacking and cover center so you always have these four uh being on the back in the center of the field so that is the defensive secureness that you have in this possession of in this formation and also the two fullbacks on the side that can go attack but they will be nine out of ten times uh back in the defense on time when you don't have the ball uh, then we have Firmino, the two central midfielders i didn't change anything for both they are completely default uh, then we are going to the strikers they are on getting behind on the attacking runs and stay forward both of them so also diaz getting behind and stay forward all right this is it for the formation lineup tactics and the instructions now we are going into a match i was playing against besitas it is a bit of a surprise because i think it's a four-star team so maybe it's not really fair to play with liverpool against besitas but hey that is online seasons that is what it is if i'm playing with a four-star team I'm also going against five side teams all the time. So uh, let's go back to the begin a bit. And then you can already see how the defense is working. You see the five defenders here on the minimap. They are really close together. So that is the wall that you are building with this formation that your opponent needs to pass. Then you have Fabinho as well and the two central midfielders. Here we have Xhota and there we have Firmino and we are just going after the ball my opponent thought he could run past trent alexander arnold well maybe if he passed him then there are just four five other players 
that he needs to pass because nobody else if you are looking at the minimap is coming to help him so we have the ball and we can build up our own attack and what is really important when you have the ball look for the central defensive midfielder what is Fabinho in this case so you can pass the ball to him or one of the two central midfielders so I'm passing the ball to Fabinho and then you need to pass really quick between the midfielders to the strikers or sometimes to one of the fullbacks when one is available so what uh, are we doing here to Fabinho then we're going to Jota to the other side of the field back to the right side because Firmino with the high high work rate making a good run and he is available again then passing it to the middle nine out of ten times is just one touch passing and we have a really good opportunity and scoring the first goal with Jota he was already in the box scoring the, the, the goal so that is really important look for the people look for the players that are making the runs sometimes there is no option so you need to dribble a bit I was in this scenario I was making a mistake here because he's intercepting it can happen of course but what you see is that Robertson that is my fullback he is just there so that is one of the five defenders that now is out of possession so now we can see what is happening you can see it here on the minimap it's a not really clear now it is clear uh, we have Trent Alexander-Arnold on the right side you can see him here and we have four other defenders so what you can see what's happening is that Gomez is taking over a bit of the left of the defense because Robertson is still here Fabinho is going back Van Dijk is in possession Konate is going there to pick up that other player so not really uh, much to worry about in the defense in my opinion when you lose the ball sometimes so he is going to attack i was just making a small mistake here with gomez uh, stepping up too high and he's crossing it and an easy ball for allison but you can see there was not really much danger for my opponent in my opinion so we are building up another attack you can see it here with gomez again Look for the midfielders. In this case, we have two options to pass the ball. We can pass it to Fabinho or to Robertson, even to Jota, but he is uh, getting marked by one of the defenders or one of the players of my opponent. So that is not the best option. So we are going to Fabinho, then Jota, just one touch passing, a few touches, then to Robertson, then we have Luis Diaz here and now we are going to attack my opponent was just doing nothing I don't know what it is I'm having that myself sometimes as well because switching defenders is really horrible sometimes in this game maybe he was struggling with switching or something and the AI defending is not helping at all so we have a really easy second goal all right then this uh, situation again we are going to attack just holding up a bit to Fabinho back to Firmino to the striker then there is Diego Jota we're doing a skill move and the shot is getting blocked and now my opponent can counter attack but look who we have on the defense Trent Alexander-Arnold is still there Robertson is over here he was helping the attack but he is going back now uh, Fabinho just missed that ball but we still have four players here on the back so again nothing to worry about you think um, yeah, I was a bit lacking my defense here because I was making a mistake myself I was running back with Fabinho couldn't catch up so I was switching to this player I missed there but still look at this it's five against two so not really much happening but the AI I already said it the AI of this game is really horrible sometimes what I was expecting is that this guy I think it's Konate would go a bit here that the AI would do that for me and hold up the attack so I could run back with the player that I selected so to help him out but look at what the AI is doing for me <laughs> it's just standing there it's just doing nothing and he can go through and I was too late with switching to another defender there is nobody else Allison saved it but the rebound is for my opponent and he's scoring his first goal so that can happen it was maybe my own mistake because I needed to switch to Konate and do that myself but I was trusting at the AI and yeah I need I don't need to trust the AI 
uh, in these situations. I know that by now. All right, next situation. Here we have Konate again, but we have the strong Virgil van Dijk heading it away. And now we can build up our attack. Fabinho to Jota. And again, the fast options. Looking who is free. Then we are going to the right side. Diaz is making a run. Look at the run. What we are doing here is a through ball, almost full power. A perfect ball from Firmino and Diaz can go one on one on the goalkeeper and score the third goal. Then another attack from my opponent. A bit lucky that he go through there, but Allison is going out of his goal. I'm doing a lob pass because else sometimes there are these situations that the striker can intercept the ball if you do a normal pass. So I wanted to be 100% sure that it's receiving its target. I'm doing a lob pass and again, here we have Fabinho. We are going back to Fabinho was the intention, but my opponent was good. But Fabinho is intercepting it. Salah needs to hold up a bit. Then there is Fabinho, uh, Firmino, sorry, all these names. Alexander Arnold to Fabinho, Fabinho to Jota. And again, look at the right side. There is Firmino going into the box, shooting from an weird angle but scoring an amazing goal then in the second half it's robertson it's diaz back to jota then there is fabinho look at all these yeah how are we going to call this passes zigzag passes or something i don't know but it is tick 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 like that just look for the player who is free who is making the run forward and it's so easy to build up your attacks with this Robertson forward backs to the right back to the left into the box shooting my opponent is saving it but hey you see what's happening and what is happening is really good all right this is the end of this video I hope that you like it and if you try it out yourself I hope that you will win with this because that's why I'm making these videos I'm trying to help you guys win more matches thank you very much for watching have a great day bye bye